Hey church, so good to be home and uh, so good to connect with you even in this way in these crazy times. We know that things might feel difficult at the moment, but I want to encourage you as we carry the burden of what's happening in South Africa and what's happening in the nations of the world. And we do carry that. We're praying for you every day and we're praying for the nation every day. We know that God is doing something spectacular in the church. And also we know that he's been preparing us as his church for times like these as we take God, bring God into our home in an intentional way. And so just keep the faith, stay strong, stay focused and stay connected to God and his kingdom. As you know, Simon and I have just got back from a trip from Europe and we have entered a mandatory 14 day quarantine. We have been tested for the virus and are awaiting the results. So while we are stuck at home for this next little while, we want to encourage you that what is going on in the nation has not taken God by surprise. We might feel like that, but it has not taken God by surprise. And He has been preparing us, and even as a church, by what has been going on in the preaching about bringing God back into our homes. And so God is still on the throne, and we encourage you to respond with faith, not in fear to what is going on around you. So obviously that means that church is going to be looking different over the uh, near future at least. And we want to encourage you to open your hearts and to be flexible to God and to leadership as we steer uh, the path into the next few weeks. And I also want to say uh, that God is bringing us into something that we otherwise probably would never step into. He wanting, he's wanting to establish something in your home, in your marriage, in your family, in your personal life and even in your relationships. So go with it and embrace the season because there's some things God can do in crisis that He can't do when things are going well. We love you and we can't wait to be connected, see you face to face. But until then, just keep God close, stay connected to the kingdom and watch Him do in this season what you never thought would happen through you. So for the next little while, we are calling His church to church in the home. Each week, we're gonna be sending out a church in the home pack with a link to a, a, a worship set and a preach with announcements, with material and sermon notes that are going to be attached to that. So the pastoral staff are gonna give you all the information that you will need to stay connected in this time. Although normal church gatherings will not be happening until further notice, we want to stay connected. Here's how you can stay connected. Every Sunday, we will send out a church in the home pack via an emailed link or USB flash drive which will include a worship compilation, a church news clip, kids program, and the sermon with sermon notes. In light of the social distancing protocol, as you meet in your homes on Sundays, we ask that you restrict this to your family only or to a maximum of eight people. This reduces the risk of viral infections. Please also remember to maintain strict hygiene protocols at all times. If you or others are unwell in any way, we recommend you self-quarantine in keeping with government protocols. This is of utmost importance. We will support you by making resources available through the week, including prayer plans and any updates. So please keep informed by following the church social media platforms, as well as our email communications. We are closely following the updates of the coronavirus and will be ready to adapt and keep you informed as circumstances develop. Lastly, if you haven't started taking communion with your family or on your own, please begin doing this let it be a regular practice. You can do this over a meal, taking time to engage in scripture as you go. There is a richness added to our lives as we become more accustomed to celebrating Jesus more intentionally at home. We will be supplying you with a communion at home pack to guide you through this process. Stay in faith and stay separated, which means holy, consecrated, and know that you're different in this season. And so our words, our language, our perspective is different, it's kingdom-minded, and there's always hope, and there's always future, and there's always something we know that God is doing. And so I, I encourage you to stay connected to, to that idea. What is God saying? What is He doing? And how can I be connected to that? We love you, and we'll see you soon.